Hi, my name is Sandra Kardashian. I'm the owner of Kardashian Bakery and Grill in Taylor, Michigan. And I have my girls, Bella and Sada, helping me out today. My name is Sada Kardashian. My name is Bella Kardashian. Yeah, let's fix her hair up a little bit. And here we have Claudia Kardashian. Now who is Claudia Kardashian? Claudia Kardashian is our marketing person here at the bakery. Um, she's been out since March 1st, um, since we opened up. And actually we put her out in the morning, take her in at night, so all my customers know when I'm open and when I'm closed. So what's happened since, the city came in in June and stated that I needed to bring her in because uh, they said that she was a distraction having her out. Um, and if I chose to leave her out, that I would be fined $160 per day that she's out. 160 a day? Correct. That's a lot of money. Yes. And what was the reasoning why you couldn't have a mannequin in front of your business? Um, one that she's considered signage and the other she's considered a distraction to drivers. Sandra, this was really working for you. You're a new business. Yes. And you and your husband came up with the idea to put out a mannequin. We did. And that's, a lot of businesses are doing that as their sign person they are. Um, it's one, I think it's uh, safer to have a mannequin out there. Because you didn't want your girls doing it, right? Um, did not want the girls doing it. I mean, we had an accident back in July of uh, last year where a vehicle drove through my building. Um, if my girls were out there then, they could have been harmed. Um, or if I hired someone to stand out there, they could have been harmed also. Um, I find it pretty logical to replace a mannequin versus a uh, placing a human life which no one can do. Are you really surprised that the city would pay attention to your mannequin like that and say no signs? It's basically a sign but are you surprised this is kind of blown up in the I'm way it has? I'm surprised that it's blown up in the fact that um, I would think the city of Taylor would want more businesses for the city of Taylor um, especially small mom and pop stores trying to build up Taylor um, so I understand they're not picking on me personally, um, but to promote new businesses in there, one mannequin isn't going to cause a distraction. You have people texting and driving all day. That's more of a distraction than having a mannequin out there. Just please sign my petition. So here's a petition here. Petition here. Some customers have signed. We and have customers what? that come in and they um, feel that Claudia isn't a distraction. They like Claudia. Um, that's their landmark where they tell people where the bakery's at. Um, there's an Armenian bakery in Taylor. All they say is look for the mannequin in the red dress and that's how people find us. Because you're the only Armenian bakery in the state. Correct. That's a pretty big deal for a lot of folks. Yes. We like to bring Armenian food into the community. There are a lot of Armenians in Michigan um, with St. John Armenian Church, St. Sarkis. We like to bring all the communities together and have them come in with some homemade food. And you want to let them know that you're here. Yes. And you're open, ready to bake. Exactly. Uh, my next step is I'm contacted the city of Taylor. I need to fill out an application uh, for an appeals. And from what I understand that it's going to cost $715 just to fill out the application. Do you think you'll do it? Um, I think I want to do it because um, it's either that or possibly if I don't have my clientele come in because they think I'm close because the mannequin's not out, um, I would have to shut down. So. Um, I have all my supporters. We had a bike group come in um, just on Thursday. There was over 50 of them. They drove from Heritage Park to the bakery to show their support for the mannequin. They all signed the petition. They don't find her a distraction. Um, so I think that's the next step that I'm gonna file.